Hey, what's going on guys? Heads here from Infinity Loops and I was just packing up to go to the beach for vacation with my family and it got me thinking I need to find a remedy for charging my batteries while I'm at the beach. So the last time I went on vacation and I took my whoops with me, I packed up my Hoda charger with my balance board and brought that whole package with me and just hooked that up in the hotel room and kept a close eye on it while I charged all my batteries. However, this year's vacation will be a bit more convenient. You see Vifly, Vfly, whichever makes you happy. They have come out with the Whoop Store V3. And this is going to take all of that stuff I was bringing with me and put it into a tiny little box that'll plug in USB-C, buy a DC barrel plug, or even an XT60 plug. Just like the previous iteration, the Whoop Store V2, this will do BT 2.0 batteries as well as PH 2.0 batteries. Also, your A30, A30? A30 batteries. A few things that stood out to me, differences between the V2 and the V3. Firstly, I would mention that it is now equipped with a color LCD screen, which is a nice quality of life improvement, but an improvement nonetheless. Uh, much like the V2, the V3, you can also hot swap your batteries. So what I mean by that is if you start a charging cycle and you have six batteries on there, and let's say one of them was not as dead as the other ones, uh, that might finish first. You can take that battery off without stopping the cycle and pop another one on if you have others to charge and it'll just keep on rolling. Which is also nice to mention is that you don't need to have your batteries within a close voltage range of each other. It's okay to just kind of independently swap them in and out of there. You can also have different size batteries on there at the same time. With the V3, you get multiple ways to supply it with power. You can use a USB Type-C cable. You can also use a DC barrel jack or an XT60, like if you want to use a larger 6S battery and plug it into the charger, you could charge up your individual 1S packs off of the big 6S pack. And the last thing that really jumped out at me, a, a very noticeable difference from the V2 version, is that the V3 added a buzzer or a beeper to it. So when the batteries are done, it'll beep at you. When you start a cycle, it'll beep at you. That was always something that I thought the V2 could really use is when the batteries were done, the light would change and it would say okay on the screen, but there was no audio cue to let you know that they were, your batteries were done. So if they're sitting on the workbench across from you and you're working on something, you could be wasting valuable time there where you could be swapping out another battery on. Uh, the other one's just sitting there idling because it's done and you haven't looked over yet to see that the light's on. Now, those are things that just jumped out at me by looking at it. But once I started digging through the website, I also found out that they added a memory function, which is awesome. So when you set up a charge cycle and you put in what amp you want to charge at, and you put in uh, if you're going to high voltage or standard voltage, it'll remember those settings. And when you turn it on, it'll keep those settings the way you had it. So you don't have to keep... It's not a huge deal, but again, it's another quality of life thing. And I really do appreciate that. I think that's something that ViFly, VFly pardon me for whichever way. I'll say it both ways so I, I can't get it wrong. I really do appreciate the way that they are listening to the community and listening to all the feedback and they're acting on it. I mean, they really had an issue with their V1 and when it came out, the community was very vocal about it, but they listened and they fixed it. And not only did they fix it, but they remedied the issue by replacing everybody's V1 with the brand new V2, which fixed the issue that the, the V1 had. The other beauty about the V3, as well as the V2, is that you can plug it into your PC and do the firmware updates that they have sent out if there's any issues that need to be fixed. For instance, you may have seen on another channel or maybe heard from another pilot friend of yours that this charger is slightly overcharging batteries. It was putting batteries at like 4.38 or 4.37 instead of 4.35. So they fixed that issue already. So if you do own one of these V3s, I'll leave a link in the description down below where you can get the firmware update for this, but it's super simple. You plug it into your PC, it does the firmware update, and then you're ready to go. Everything's fixed now. So make sure that if you did get a V3 previously that you update the firmware. It's really super simple, so don't put it off. Just update the firmware so you're not overcharging your batteries. It doesn't do it by much, but just to be safe. Now that is enough blabbing on about the charger. I'm going to pack this up with the rest of my things and then take it to the beach with me. We will look at that 
right now.